Hi there again YouTube, Tim Coleman and his Pulse Jet Powered Go-Kart Project. Beautiful day today out here in Flat Gap. As you can see, nice and sunny. A little cool at uh, 54 degrees, but it's a beautiful day. Isn't it shadow? And uh, the experiment with the uh, Kevlar paracord worked great for securing my building much better and easier to adjust and everything than the uh, webbing that came with the building did not work worth a hoot on the brake and steering system so I have resorted to my original plan of using aircraft cable and the brakes I just finished with tested them they are working great now, working, uh, come to a full lockup with very little pedal movement. It's all stainless steel, aircraft grade brake, uh, or just cable, aircraft cable. Uh, I used uh, 3 30 seconds cable on the brakes and I'm using uh, 1 8 inch cable on the steering. I finally figured out the problem with my steering issues it's the geometry the angle of the steering shaft in relation to the pulleys and the front wheels I have to add two more pulleys to drop this down and make sure that the cables enter the steering spool on the shaft at 90 degrees and when I do that uh, according to my tests and what little calculations I've done that should uh, allow me proper steering without the uh, cable loosening up on one side as the other one tightens which is the issue that I've been having but uh, these are now good and solid use cadmium plated copper Nike press um, cable shackle aircraft cable shackles on the brakes so that I can take this apart without having to cut the cable uh, some of you may be wondering okay as the brakes wear how's he going to adjust the cables well that won't come for quite a while because I've got about three quarters of an inch of pedal movement at the top from wheels with no brakes to full lock so this pedal will go all the way flat if it has to, so I figure the brake shoes will be wore out before I need to do anything. Uh, unless the cable stretches, and with 330 seconds cable, that is not likely with the loads involved. So, unless one of my pulleys uh, nylon sheaves gives out due to overload or something like that, and I measured it only takes 75 pounds of pedal force to uh, do a full lockup on the brakes so these pulleys I'm I know they're rated for at least 100 pounds probably more I don't have a specific number wish it did that would make me feel more comfortable but they seem to be working and if they crap out why well, I will replace them with something a little more substantial I have the main fuel tank installed and I'm going to uh, cinch up the uh, fuel fitting so that when number one sun gets here it will be ready to go and let's see all right, that is tight. Uh, kind of hesitant doing a flow test. I don't relish the idea of blowing liquid propane out into a closed space like this. Not exactly the safest thing to do. And I don't really want to drag it outside right now, so that will come at a later date. It'll be soon enough to we get to do everything Let's see that valve is shut this valve is shut refill valves are shut so 
all right well that's it for uh this video uh just a short one update uh the steering like i said i've got that uh, i think figured out and like i said worse comes to worse i can always duct tape my feet to the uh steering axle of course i say that in jest i'm not really going to do that that would not be safe at all number one hit something hard you can break a leg number two couldn't get my feet off to hit the brake pedal so that would not be a good thing either all right well i'm gonna button it up for today thanks for watching leave a comment if you got one or a like if you want to and thanks again for watching more to come later see you